The grocery store versus the market. One of the great joys of shopping in a foreign country, in my opinion, is visiting both the grocery stores and the markets. This gives you firsthand knowledge of one of the most important components of culture, which is food. I love to eat. I love wandering through both and exploring both and sampling and buying. There's a wonderful daily indoor market of fresh local products in Nîmes, France. This is the town where the word denim, as in dunim, originated. My wife and I were walking through this amazing spectacle of fruits and vegetables and cheeses and dairy products and meats and flowers, incredible varieties and stunningly beautiful displays, our eyes popping out of our heads. And then walking straight through the market, going from one door directly across to another door, right through the middle came a tour group. The group leader was pointing out the wonder of the market but the people in the group were herded in and out with no time to sample, no time to buy. Do yourself a favor. Don't travel like that. There is something about the reverse zoo effect happening when you do that. You are being observed by the locals as a curiosity rather than as a participant in the place you are at. Here, look at these foreigners. They get to dream about what it's like to eat these lovely, delicious things. We actually get to eat them. Who's the winner and who's the loser? So don't travel like that. What's the difference between the grocery store and the market? At a grocery store, there is a high level of processing and packaging. I'm no fan of either of those things. But some of this has led to greater safety, and that is undeniable. Anyone who has ever gotten sick off of food, food poisoning, for example, knows that it is awful. At the same time, you can process the goodness out of the food and in most cases bulk the food up with chemicals and preservatives that are developed in labs for increasing profit rather than increasing quality or nutrition. In the U.S. we've become accustomed to highly processed foods, so much so that they barely resemble what they were in the raw form. When I have an opportunity, and that does not arise very often in the U.S., especially in Southern California, because of the lack of farmland, I love to shop at a farmer's market or so-called farmer's market. But one needs to ask, where are these things coming from if they aren't coming from any local farms? Because in Southern California, we don't really have a lot of local farms. The market, quote unquote, on the other hand, implies a lack of processing. You are, in theory, buying direct, skipping the middleman. The processors, okay, cheese is processed, but when I make cheese in my kitchen from raw milk, the processing is minimal and the product contains no preservatives. For much of the world, including many wealthy countries, shopping at the daily or weekly or whenever it occurs market is actually what shopping is about, even for non-edible consumer goods. What is this about? Since the start of the pandemic in late 2019, early 2020, the question has been raised about wet markets in China. A wet market is a fresh, mostly meat market. Nothing inherently wrong with that. Take a look at this picture. This is at the market in Xi'an in China. Those are pigeons. They are not pigeons for racing. They are not pigeons for pets. Those are pigeons for food. You buy the food live, you slaughter it, you cook it. Now take a look at this picture. Look at the man's face. Does he look unhappy to you? What does he have in front of him? Those are not pets, my friends. That's food. So keep that in mind. This is what you can get. One also needs to keep in mind that the minute you slaughter an animal, it will begin to degrade. If you do not eat it fairly quickly, especially in warmer weather, Something must be done to preserve it. Refrigeration, salting, smoking, drying, something. If not, little flora and fauna begin to live off of that dead flesh, causing it to decay. They can produce toxins, which are not good for humans. Additionally, you are certainly aware of things like trichinosis, which is most commonly associated with under undercooked pork or salmonella, which at least in the United States is commonly associated with undercooked chicken. As you learn from the guns, germs, and steel video, 
Animal to human transfer disease can result in catastrophe for the humans. In China, among some people, but widely accepted by most people and apparently by their government, is the consumption of all sorts of animals and animal products that have the potential to transfer disease to humans. Disease that in their specificity, we would never really encounter. If one adds to the lack of processing and or undercooking and or lack of preservation, well, disaster is around the corner. I've been sick from many foods with one exception. It has always been from meats and seafood. The one exception was cheese, another animal product. I've never gotten sick off of a carrot. Taking care with animal products is critical, especially now when humans can move so rapidly across the planet and have such quick and extended contact with each other.